హాయ్ హలో వెల్కమ్ టు టీఎఫ్పిసి రీసెంట్ బ్లాక్ బస్టర్ హిట్ సాంగ్ మా బావ మనోభావాల దెబ్బతనే రామజోగే శాస్త్రి అద్భుతంగా లిరిక్స్ ఇచ్చారు అండ్ తమన్ గారి మ్యూజిక్ అయితే నెక్స్ట్ లెవెల్లో ఉంది ఇక ఆ పాటకి ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్స్తో తన స్టెప్స్తో అందరికీ హీట్ తెప్పించేసింది మన చంద్రిక రవి సో ఈరోజు మనతో పాటు ఉన్నారు తనను అడిగి ఈ సినిమా గురించి అండ్ అలాగే ఈ సాంగ్ గురించి చాలా విషయాలు తెలుసుకుందాం హియావిగా Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. That was another lovely introduction. They're just getting wet and wet. Only in the end, I'm going to be able to do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. So, firstly, what do you say about this song? Besides the fact that obviously it's a super hit, um, mm-hmm. I think for myself, it's something that I could not have imagined better to be. portray me as how i am it's literally you know the the expressions the the dancing it's me all in one um it's as if it was literally made for me <laughs> um so i'm really thankful for this big of a song to be able to show myself <laughs> nice do you remember that song to sing 100% but i can't sing it <laughs> i can't sing it just try two lines no i'm not a singer i'll stick to the dancing and the acting the singing i don't every time i do an interview someone will be like can you just sing i'm like no 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 i i'm not it i'm a triple threat but mine is modeling not singing <laughs> okay but it's very nice song and your steps are amazing thank you thank and, you and how your journey starts to this song uh so gopichan said actually messaged me a couple of months before we had filmed and said you know i i would love to work with you definitely on this film in what capacity we didn't know he was just like you know there'll be a role something we'll do something and then they obviously had started filming and everything and then a couple of days before i actually flew here to to film this he said there's a song you're the only one that can do it uh we all think you're the right person for this can you come i said yeah absolutely even if i wasn't able to i'll make sure i'm there um and i was in hyderabad within like 4 5 days um and then here we are today <laughs> really nice and before this opportunity and before this song did you saw any uh, nbk movies yeah i i grew up actually watching nbk sir's father's uh, father's movies with my father actually my father loves mythological stories and things like that so we watched you know so many of uh, balaya sir's father's films and then i've seen sir's films as well so actually the first day of set he said have you watched akanda and i was like sir i actually just watched it like i literally just watched it and i loved it um so yeah i, I you know i was born in australia so my connection to india was films indian films no matter what language but specifically south indian films um so growing up watching sir and then to also not just share screen space with sir but like you know dancing not just any dancing like full on dancing with sir at his age and his level of knowledge and wisdom and expertise so i'm so grateful nice and what's your favorite films of nbk balaya garu i honestly i'm going to say this because not just to be part of it but you know when you actually see the comments on the song and everything to for people who don't even watch telugu cinema to be like oh my god sir is this age and he's performing on this level and wow. his screen presence yeah. and everything like that and i think also knowing what goes into it now in you know having been a part of this film how long i know how long they filmed it for i know how much work went into it i would say this one definitely he really is the god of the masses yeah and of course and he is a god for telugu audience actually 100% yeah <laughs> and before before this opportunity uh, did you try any uh, telugu films i had done a song in a telugu film it was a remake of a, a tamil film that i did okay um obviously it wasn't on this level of you know attention where people really were paying attention to me the fan base from that were people that knew me from the the tamil film um i didn't expect this like i i went into it knowing it's something great you know you know obviously balaya sir and you know my three movie makers and gopi chandra you know these things but i didn't anticipate this level of like this is chandrika this is it you know this is you're here now but is there any surprise for this song i am very taken aback by how accepted i have been you know because it is i, I am playing a more sexy role in the song you know i'm yeah, talking yeah. about my story and it, if it's not done properly people can take it the wrong way which is why you know gopi chandra and ravish so all said she is the only one that can do it because there's a line it crosses you cross a line it becomes a vulgar you don't do it well it looks put on it looks fake um so i i did go into this just preparing myself for maybe there could be people that said things but to have young women and young girls now doing my dance and tagging me in it and i'm watching this going this is all i've wanted i've wanted to show that you can be empowered women you can dress like this you can also wear a sari that doesn't make you any less of a human being so i was very taken aback that there was never anything that was said in the wrong way you know i i'm so grateful for this complete love and affection that everyone has given me 
really good and on sets did you feel any language barrier with the no, team no not at all everyone had made such a point to make sure i felt comfortable in every way you know whether it was a costume making a makeup everything was they made sure i felt okay you know i am i'm not new to india i've spent a lot of time here um you know especially filming and things like that but telugu i i'm learning i'm still learning that language and not once did i feel out of place or not a part of something everyone made sure that i felt welcomed and comfortable so there was definitely you know language barrier and i you know i also made it a point to make sure i was getting the language right because i didn't want to be just some south girl that was just doing some film and mm. goes and you know don't know the language i i want to do films that i know languages of or at least i can resonate with and i am a south indian so i'm definitely going to learn more telugu <laughs> nice already you 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 learn some words right yeah i can telugu. understand quite a bit like you know when you were speaking before like i i can string together uh, but there's always that fear that i'm not getting it right or i'm hearing the wrong thing i'm going to answer the wrong thing that's that's the only fear for me okay what you learn the telugu words mostly the song i now i can actually pin you know cuz if you pick a word you can know the the derivatives of that word so i ca- i can understand here and there and then even on set they would purposely ask me certain things and i they would say even if you in- answer in english at least we know you know what we're saying um but i i'm picking up a lot more okay and we already know about uh, balegaru energy and his steps and his grace so but we have and uh, we want to hear from you about his energy and dance when sir walked into set he walks in with this presence that he doesn't even he doesn't need to try to be a presence he's a presence in in himself you know um but without you know some people can have attitude or any, sir has nothing he's literally like a pure human being i was very um cautious i didn't want to you know overstep or talk to him when i was but sir would always come and sit next to me he was he would show me newspaper articles i remember one day he got his ipad and he was showing me videos of his previous films showing me his father's films and i was telling him sir i've watched this film with my father you know there was you know he's on that level but he didn't make me feel like i was a junior artist he made me feel like an equal human being you know he shared so much knowledge um about his life and his upbringing you know he was telling me about where his family lives and things like that it the presence is felt without even having to make a presence and not many people can do that it's very yeah. hard for true people to do that true and i think you played a ghost role in tamil movie in, in your starting days yeah yeah <laughs> so that was actually the remake that i did in telugu yeah yeah and i even with that i got i mean half of the film i'm a ghost i'm literally covered in blood and all those things and then half the film i play a, a hot girl as well so even in with that there were so many questions like chandrika why are you doing this kind of a role yeah, you know it's really hard you've done a miss world and you've done this and that you know why would you make yourself yeah. in that kind of a role yeah. but i said i'm an actress just same way doctor puts on a coat takes off the coat i should be able to put on many coats and for myself it was very important that i didn't do an item song in the beginning of my career i've done it after doing a couple of films i've also got a degree in acting i've got diploma i've studied you know this is something i love doing i love bringing dancing and women's body and all those things into it but i also have things to show behind me um so that was very important for me to do uh this at this level you know everything's up to god at the end of the day but i'm gl- i'm grateful for the way it happened because people were able to see oh she can play different roles she can yeah. she can you know embody a ghost or this or that you know and for selecting roles do you have any confusion to select or not i honestly just go with what i think is right for myself um i obviously don't ever want to disappoint my parents or anything like that but i know also in indian cinema we never push those boundaries it's never where there's going to be a film where you know your family is going to be like I, why did you do this song like even with my original film the ghost one it was an adult comedy it was rated a in america no one would think it's that crazy it was yeah, like every yeah. other film but my grandparents went and watched that film you know they went and bought the ticket in in singapore and the the people at the counter said you know this is an adult film and they said it's my granddaughter we still want to watch it so i know at the end of the day i don't want to do anything that's going to disappoint anyone but i'm also an artist i should be able to do what i want to do as an artist with reasonable you know uh choice um i usually just pick what resonates with me you know and i mean the more i do the more i know i'm on a level like this film i never had to ask a question i never had to say i'm not going to do this dance i'm not going to do this step i'm not going to wear this costume i knew there was a level of professionalism that was coming because of my three movie makers gopi chandra and balaya sir you know i knew i was in good hands nice and you already achieved many heights in model career so now after that so many members so many people thinks uh, 
please uh, do a heroine role like that and their dreams also like that mm-hmm. actually actually definitely but uh, they won't accept like special songs or something uh, little roles or something this generally happen ha- absolutely happen so uh, do you have that any in in your mind i mean i i did a heroine role uh, unfortunately the film didn't come out because of covid and everything like that i know i have the capacity to carry a film because i've done big films in you know the us i've done shows i'm writing three she- three tv shows myself so i know i have the capacity to to do that but i also know like ravi sir and gopi chansa said not many people can do what i'm doing there's not many people that can embody the sexual chemistry or character without crossing that line without making it look vulgar without making it look put on naturally doing it and there's never been a, a south indian item girl like that ever and i'm grateful that i at least have a, i have a resume of 30 years that i've been working as an actor and model and you know dancing and everything so even if people wanted to typecast me and say i only do item songs it's okay i also know if a role came where i had to play a villain which i have played before i i would be able to do it without any any questions or problems you know so i know that I don't know if it's an Indian cinema thing where girls naturally think you automatically have to do an item so I'm in a heroine type role without realizing I think maybe because I come from this arts background every role in this in this film no matter what the film even an extra role is pivotal to the film an extra holding a bucket in the back is important he's filling a space in that film if we start to understand that we understand that every role is important like my role in this song is important to be a very openly sexual girl talking about my my love history if i didn't do that then it wouldn't make sense for the film you know i think we start understanding that every role is important whether it's a small role junior role you work your way up you know that's really nice and you are very confident thank you and just live as you always so because it's very rare uh, to be a confident person and all the best and it's a wonderful song thank you so much thank you thank, thank, you. thank you so much thank for you. this interview సో చూసారు కదండి మొత్తానికి జనవరి ట్వెల్త్న వీర్ సింహారెడ్డి థియేటర్స్లో రిలీజ్ అవుతుంది అందరూ తప్పకుండా వెళ్ళి వచ్చండి ఇంకొక అమేజింగ్ ఇంటర్వ్యూతో మళ్ళీ కలుద్దాం అంతవరకు చూస్తున్నట్టు టీఎఫ